Hi there! Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is part of my study hack series in which I try to help you study smart and not just study hard. Now today we're going to talk about uh, a, a topic that I feel would be really helpful for you, lalo na kung kayo ay nagtitipid at kayo ay magtitake ng isang aptitude test. Whether this is the civil service exam, UKAT, LAE, college entrance test, or kahit mga job intake exams, I hope na makatulong ito sa inyong preparation. Some of my just my children to line. <laughs> Some of my students who passed the latest na civil service exam are starting to find work then sa mga government agencies and kahit sa mga private na companies. And one of the things na sinasabi nila sa akin is that a lot of the topics na lumabas sa civil service exam, age problems, word problems, vocabulary, grammar, all of those things na inadal nila for the civil service exam ay kinailangan din nila for the actual job intake exams na kinuha nila. So, that also helped them get hired, basically. So, I hope na makatulong ito sa inyo. So, whether you're still studying, whether you're taking a test, or whether tapos na kayo and you're just looking for a good job, or kung gusto nyo lang to keep your mind sharp, these are free resources that you can use to study. So, how can you study for free online? Now, ang key talaga here is resourcefulness. You have to be very resourceful. And one of the things that I uh, teach my students right away is that if ang isang baga ay mahalaga sa iyo, kung ang baga ay talagang gustong gusto mo, ito ay pinagugugelan ng panahon. Ano ibig sabihin nun? If you really want to learn something, it's really, really easy these days, igugugel mo lang yan. So, effortan ninyo na mag-google. If you notice some of the questions na paulit-ulit na tatanong sa akin, sometimes I don't answer them na lalo na kung nasagot ko na sila in a video. And if it's really easy to answer, I just tell them, maybe you can Google that instead. Ang reason ko for that is, masarap kasi ang feeling when you actually discover something yourself. It's easy talaga, it's easier if someone is teaching you, pero masarap yung feeling ng accomplishment if you learn something on your own. So, paano ba natin i-maximize itong mga free resources online for you to study better? Now, doing this for three years now and still, uh, no, <laughs> parang keeping on dito sa ginagawa na ito. There are a lot of students na I've had na hindi nag-spend ng single dime sa kanilang pagre-review. And I'm really happy for them as well. Now, what does that mean? Ang ibig sabihin ko is whether you spent something or whether you spent money on my review classes or my review materials or some other people's um, review materials or a review center or kung hindi kayo gumastos ng kahit ano and you just used all the free videos and all of the free exercises online. As long as makapasa kayo, it will give me the same amount of joy. I would still be happy for you. Kasi yun naman talaga ang heart ko. For this, when I started this, I wanted to make free resources online. There's just a reason kung bakit kailangan may mga paid na resources, which is I also need to survive. Because if I don't do this, if I if I don't um, charge on sa mga ibang reviewers or do sa full program, I will not be able to keep this going. So basically, yung mga tao na nagi invest don sa reviewers and sa review events, they help keep this channel running for free. Okay, so help, they help me keep making free content for everyone. So that's also just the difference between those two. Pero kung dun sa mga, alam yun, sa hundreds, maybe thousands of people who passed without spending anything, I'm really just happy for them. I just want to give a quick shout out din sa ibang mga Team Laika members, ano na yung mga nakapasan at napromote na, na nagpapadala ng ballpen, nagpapadala ng money sometimes to sponsor yung mga, uh, mga students natin na na sa UCC or anything like that na binibila natin ng pens and ng gamit and pati yung ating mga World Vision and Scholars thank you guys for doing that we already have two kids sa World Vision na pinapaalan natin and um, hopefully next year we can add another one okay so exciting yun good stuff dahil uh, I'm just really happy na umiikot umiikot yung uh, sense ng generosity at saka yung pagiging um, pag-aalala okay sa mga people who are less fortunate than us. It's fun na I had a student before who said na I, I actually coach na hindi nga ako nakatapos ng college pero dahil nakatrabaho ako uh, I'll give this para hopefully yung bata na nasa sponsor na natin sa World Vision, that kid makakatapos siya ng college kahit ako hindi pa. So those are things na nakaka-touch talaga sa akin. Okay? But again, you don't need to spend any money naman to join the team. Yan ang pinaka importante gusto kong i-point out. You can still be part of Team Laika whether or not nag-spend kayo ng money. There's just 
a lot more resources and a lot more um, stuff, mga exclusive videos, mga exclusive exercises for people who join the program. Okay? Yan ay kanilang parang perks nila yon. Okay? So, ngayon, uh, more, uh, more on that in another video. Ang pinag-usapan natin ngayon are just the free resources that you can make the most of online. So, I'm going to give you a few kasi I want you to be motivated. Kahit na hindi uh, na, walang kakayanan kayo ngayon to buy reviewers or anything like that that doesn't mean wala kayong pag-asa na pumasa marami na sa mga kwento sa team na ito ay ganun ang kwento okay? mga people who didn't have money to spend any any money on ano, yung reviewers pero nakapasa pa rin sila with hard work and resourcefulness okay? so one of my favorite stories was from a team like a passer last year ang kwento niya is that nasa depressed area siya near the airport daw and um, dahil wala siyang wala silang wifi sa bahay of course wala silang ano daw wala siyang siya resources siya ay out of school youth hindi siya nakatapos ng college ang ginawa ang ginagawa niya to study is um, naglalakad siya kasi sa airport may free wifi every day parang meron kaya tang an hour and a half or ganun na free wifi e meron siyang lumang uh, maliit na phone na pinicturean niya pa nung, nung sinabi niya to sa akin tapos ang ginagawa niya naglalakad daw siya papunta sa airport Pag nasa airport na siya, dinadownload niya lahat ng kaya niyang i-download sa phone niya uh, na videos. Kasi di ba sa, sa YouTube, you can save it for on offline viewing. So, sa-save niya yon Tapos, gagawin niya pag uuwi siya sa bahay. So, naglalakad lang siya ha, naglalakad lang siya. Tapos, aaralin niya yon Pag naubos niya na yon naaral niya na lahat yon nasagutan niya lahat ng mga quick quiz na kasama doon sa videos na yun. Nalakad siya ulit pabalik ng airport after a few days. Magda-download ulit siya ng bagong set and then babalik ulit siya sa bahay. Right now, there are more than 200 videos for you guys na available that you can study for free. So, minaximize niya yun and now, nakapasa na siya. And admin assistant na siya sa kanilang local government. So, I'm really excited dahil itong tao na to really showed na with dedication, creativity, resourcefulness, and just really hard work, anything can happen. So, kahit uh, sino man kayo, I hope na ma-encourage kayo sa kwento na yun. Now, Ano yung mga free resources na ito? Okay? Number one, YouTube. Okay? YouTube is a really good source if you want to learn anything. And when I say anything, literally anything. From makeup, music, um, editing, anything like that, you can learn on YouTube. Maybe that's why a lot of you are here nga actually baka nag-YouTube lang kayo ng civil service review and dumating kayo sa isa sa aking mga videos. So that in itself is a great step. Now, hindi lang naman ako gumagawa ng mga reviewers on on YouTube. Hindi lang ako gumagawa ng topics on math and language. You can also find other creators like me. Uh, I don't like kasi when people pit us against each other. Most of them, lalo na yung mga Filipino creators na nasa education field, hindi ko rin sila na-meet personally. And I don't like yung, yung minsan kasi may mga comments na toxic yung parang bakit si ganyan, mas maganda to, mas magaling si ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Ayoko nang ganyan kasi uh, I believe na you have to find what works for you. Okay? So, for example, uh, ako, I've had a lot of teachers din in the past. May mga teachers ako na gusto ko yung method. May mga teachers na hindi ko gusto yung method. Pero, ma pero sila naman yung gusto ng barkad ako. So, kung ano naman yung nag-work sa inyo, go with that. Hindi naman kami nandito para mag-away-away. The beauty of it is, whether we know each other uh, personally o hindi, which actually hindi ko talaga sila kilala, pero if we're working towards the same goal, which is to help you guys, then that's good. The more people who do this, the better. Para mas marami kayong uh, resources na pagpipilian. Okay? So, YouTube. YouTube is always a great source. Whether Filipino yung creator or hindi, you will also find a lot of foreign creators who speak English, who teach the same things. So, you can also pick up dun sa mga tinuturo nila. Okay? Number two na resource would be websites. Okay? There are websites who provide help when it comes to the civil service exam or college entrance te tests. We have our own website, so HTTPS na siya. Thank you, Ate Mitch, for doing that. Secured na siya ng website. Uh, it's www.teamlaika.com. You can download uh, free worksheets. You can download resources doon. Doon ko na ilalagay lahat. I'm starting to update that more and more dahil hindi ako nito travel ngayon to teach. So, you can always go there. I also explained in the video kung paano kayo maka-download ng free worksheets. Uh, that, that video is linked 
below if you haven't seen that yet. So you can see yung walkthrough kung paano niya makukuha yung mga worksheets na sinasabi ko. Okay? So you can download those. Pwede na sa phone. Kung gusto niyo, pwede niyo i-print. Nandun na rin ang mga tamang answers para makikita niyo kung natututo kayo. Okay? I'll keep adding more dun sa website na yun. Okay? Number three, you can also join Facebook groups. There are a bunch available right now. Some of them actually partnerin ako from before. And nakatulong yun kasi may community of people who are taking the same test or already took the same test. And nakatulong talaga yung mga tips at saka mga exchange doon. A lot of people post questions, nagpo-post sila kung ano yung mga solutions din nila, and a lot of other resources. I encourage you to uh, join those kasi maganda yun, free resource yun for everyone. I just have a few warnings, no? And again, this is not hating on them, okay? Ang nangyayari lang, I think, na trend is that some of the groups are not moderated actively. So, ibig sabihin, hindi... Siguro, if maybe yung admin uh, is working, so busy din siya, or yung moderators, busy din sila. So, hindi na screen lahat ng mga posts. Um, minsan, may mga spam, kung ano binabenta, or may networking, may, uh, may mga questions na hindi relevant sa exam, may mga... Minsan, may porn links pa or anything like that, may mga virus. So, yun yung, yun yung ingatan nyo lang, okay? So, make sure that you only focus on the good things and wag din masyadong mareklamo kasi, alam niyo doing this for three years, yung mga tao na nag-initiate na tumutulong sa inyo online, um, they really are not there for the money. So, kung meron silang mga, may mga ganyan, may minsan may nakakalusot na mga ganyan klaseng post, wag na kaman kayo magalit doon sa admin. Uh, i-report nyo na lang sa kanila para tanggalin nila. Pero, uh, huwag kayong magalit kasi, uh, I think, ang sad lang ngayon kasi nakik nakakakuha rin ako ng ganong messages occasionally. May mga taong entitled talaga. Yung parang, parang tinutulungan mo na sila, sila pa yung galit. Parang gusto nila demanding sila, nakukulangan sila. Last week, may nakuha ako na message na parang dagdagan ko pa daw yung mga ginagawa ko kasi kulang pa daw. So, natatawa ako kasi 200 plus na yung videos. Tapos, di ba, everyday halos nagpapost ako ng bagong uh, video. Sabi ko sa kanya, um, mag-scroll down ka na lang, tingnan mo yung mga dating posts, kasi ang dami na. Uh, nakukulangan pa rin daw siya sa ginagawa. So again, may mga tao talaga who are very hard to please. Uh, hindi naman lahat, pero just don't be like them, kasi maganda if you are grateful and you have good na respeto para sa ibang tao, kasi magre-reflect yan whether online or offline kayo. Kasi minsan napapangawitan na yung ganong klaseng ugali. Yung pagiging demanding, pagiging impatient. Pagdating sa actual na job, baka madala nyo yun. So, hindi masyadong maganda yun. Um, so, that's just one thing. Another thing na be careful about would be posting copyrighted materials uh, online. Okay? So, I can't stress this enough. Whether it's mine or someone else's, I don't encourage Team Like a members to take pictures of books or alam nyo yung mga uh, pirated na copies ng books in a scan or zinizirox. I don't encourage you to do that kasi um, delikado yan. Una sa lahat, actually, ang reason would be respect dun sa gumawa. Kasi, syempre, pinaghirapan nung gumawa yan. And I know that kasi I've done it personally. Mahirap talaga para kang nanganganak, actually, kasi uh, ng, ng libro, when you write a book, talagang, ano siya, it's, it's an entire experience all to itself. So, respeto dun sa gumawa. Pangalawa, it's illegal. And if you notice, there's a good code of ethics din ng government officials or ng government employees stressed doon na if you're convicted of any felony or anything like that, there's a totally different route for you. So kung gusto nyo iwasan yung risk na yun, just don't do it. Um, maybe ngayon wala pang tumitingin, pero ang realidad kasi is that if someone, okay, lalo na if you're um, pamanggain nyo isang big publisher or a big review center, tapos yung review materials nila yung pinapost ninyo online, there is a way for them to track you down and pwede nila kaidemanda at magiging part na yan ng record ninyo forever. So, I've heard of uh, at least a field ko, there are um, review materials na kung copyrighted yan, nakita ng isa sa mga owners or isa sa mga leaders ng review center na yon na nakapost ng libre online, they actually track that person down um, for fine and also for yung kung hindi titigil talaga for legal measures. So, mag-ingat lang kayo doon. Mas maganda to ano, parang err on the side of caution, ingat kayo sa ganun. Okay? Yun lang yung aking advice sa inyo pagdating sa Facebook groups. Groups kasi baka mamaya pumasa nga kayo ng exam pero hindi naman kayo ma-hire kasi nga meron ang criminal, criminal record. So just make sure that you're careful about those things. Okay? Now, um, next na free resource for you guys would be yung Miriam or Mariam Webster app. Okay? Mariam Webster's Dictionary. Okay? 
sabi kasi nung butso namin marayam daw yun. So, natuto ako sa kanya. Anyway, um, yung, yung app na yan is very helpful. Whether you're looking for the word of the day, uh, which I post din every day, uh, the day after sa, sa Facebook page natin. And, um, hindi lang yun. When you encounter a word na hindi nyo alam yung meaning, you can check there. Kung kayo ay merong boss at gusto nyo silang ma-impress, uh, pwede nyo rin pakinggan kung ano yung pronunciation ng isang word by clicking on the, an icon doon sa app na yon. You can down, download it at pwede mo rin siyang gamitin offline. And, ang maganda doon is that there are uh, resources doon. Merong mga quizzes, merong mga games, vocabulary aids that would help you study better. So, you can start playing those games. Uh, actually, kahit kung wala kayong ginagawa, instead of mag Candy Crush kayo or uh, Mobile Legends or any of those games na hindi naman educational, that would be a good option for you to kill time. So, hanggang ngayon, actually, I do that then for fun. Uh, masaya din kasi to learn new things. Okay? And when you play that game, you always learn new words. So, uh, you can pick and choose kung ano yung nag-work for you. So, that is also a good resource to start with. Another good resource would be yung mga apps na available kung meron kayong Android phone or uh, whether you have an Android phone actually or an Apple phone. There are a bunch of apps na pwedeng makatulong sa inyo. I'll pick and choose some of my favorites and I'll link them down below. Ang pinaka-advice ko lang would be pick out those which are accurate, which are good, and verified sila. Ang pinaka-focus natin would be either on language or on on uh, arithmetic. Now, bakit ko in-encourage that you play games na quick math or speed math or adding and subtraction and dividing really fast? Ang reason ko for that is kasi sa exam, may time limit ang lahat. And in, the only way for you to be faster sa math really is practice and exposure. So, the more you add, subtract, multiply, divide, Numbers, whether big or small, makakatulong yan sa inyo pagdating sa actual exam. Kasi lalo kayong bibilis kung lagi nyo siyang ginagawa. So, kung wala na rin namang ginagawa or bumabiyay ng mahaba dahil sa traffic, ito yung mga bagay na pwede ninyong gawin instead of doing idle things. Okay? May mga word search, may mga crosswords, may iba-ibang mga klaseng mga apps that you can choose from. And again, I'll link a bunch of those below. So, that's it for now. I hope nakatulong tong video na ito para sa inyo. Again, we also have our own uh, resources. You can join the Team Like a Review group. Medyo exclusive lang siya. Ina-approve talaga namin si Discreet namin yung mga tao. And also, ina-approve kasi namin yung posts. So, you can't just post. Ang reason ko for that is kasi very strict na ako sa copyright. Very strict ako sa mga kung ano nung pinapalike, pinapa, uh, binibenta or anything like that. Tinatanggal ko talaga siya. At bawal din ang bullying dun sa page na yun. So, if you bully anyone or if you say something negative, I'll just basically ban you from the, the group. So, medyo strict ako sa group, kaya it's a rather small group. Pero I hope maging helpful sa inyo yung mga resources na nandun. We also have our Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash Team Laika. Doon ko pinapost yung mga questions every day. Uh, yung word of the day din, pinapost ko doon. And including yung mga bagong videos at saka kung ano-ano man ang mga free resources na ginagawa ko for you guys. You can al always go there, like nyo yung page para wala kayong mamiss. And of course, subscribe to this channel if you haven't yet. Hit the bell icon para malaman ninyo as soon yung video post. Kasi I keep making new videos every week. There are at least two uh, video lessons ng isa sa math and isa sa language. So, Math Mondays, Wordy Wednesdays, regular yan. And then, of course, a bunch of other stuff on the side na pandagdag doon sa mga yon. So, I really hope makatulong yan sa inyo, sa inyo paghahanap ng trabaho, sa inyong pag-exam, uh, and sa inyong buhay generally. Sana makatulong sa inyo. So, thank you guys for watching this. And if you think you have friends who or will be helped then by watching this, don't forget to share this with them. Alright? Thank you guys and uh, never stop learning. Aja aja, kainian. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now.